Take it off. Take it off, man. Take it off. Hey, man, we're not going to ask you. Let me get your back. Let me get your back. I got my throat money in there. Hey. I'm your bike. Hey, y'all. Hey, girl. Come over here with that jewelry on. Come over here. Hurry up. 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 Yo. My mama gave me this chain. <laughs> Is my uh, uncle? Yeah, we good. Yeah, we good. Is my uncle Tiny. I haven't I seen ain't him. No uncle. I haven't. It's my brother. <laughs> 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 Go, go ahead, say it again. We're gonna start shooting that new Friday in September. Oh, that's uh, that's what's up, man. We're gonna we're gonna whoop Cubes ass this time, no. Hey, call man. me though. Gonna call say, me, we're gonna jump him. That's what's up, man. Get it. Hey, African, African. You took the chain too, okay? Because you're a long way from home. Now watch you get your ass up off my chair, okay? And sit your bitch ass over there. Hurry up! I ain't gonna tell you no more. Hurry your ass up. Specifically uh, for the black community. Um, about 10 days or two weeks before the election, I pushed back, you know, all the way until pretty much now because I just felt it was a lot of noise, a lot of poison, a lot of people with their own agendas, personal agendas, um, or party agendas. And, you know, they really wanted to attack me for what I was doing because it was outside of the line of what they was doing or what they believed need to be done. Um, so when you recognize people really don't want to get to the truth, they just want to perpetuate, you know, their own narrative against you. It was time for me to push back because, you know, honestly, you know, I don't really care who's the president, as you can see. Um, I understand that no matter who's the president, you got to push them to do things for you and your community. Um, and so that's the agenda, to push whatever candidates in power, um, you know, Republican or Democrat, to do what needs to be done. You know, I think we've 
just focus on one party way too long. And, you know, some of us are getting taken care of with that. And uh, a lot of uh, the community is not. Um, and, and so, you know, I, I want to speak up when I see stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I just believe that when you really look at the problems we're going through, it's bipartisan and you're really tripping if you don't look at both sides of the aisle and push both sides of the aisle to finish, to, to fix the problem. You know, what's wrong with that? I think we got to try that um, because, you know, our problems are not being solved. And so, um, you know, I've been working behind the scenes. A few major companies who want to do stuff, you know, like we said we would in the contract with Black America. We are modifying the contract. Um, it's taking a minute because, you know, we want to make sure we, you know, specifically hitting all the areas that we may have missed. Uh, so, you know, that's what I've been doing for the last few days, away from social media, because social media, you know, puts a lot of poison in the air, and a lot of people don't really care about getting to the truth and the real business. They just want to um, figure out where they don't agree with you and hit you with it, you know? And so, I understand that game. I understand, you know, I'm a big boy, you know? I'm more than, than a rapper. We, I know y'all like to clump us all together, when it's convenient for for you, and then you don't give a fuck about us when it ain't. But it's cool. Um, at the end of the day, you know, we here to, to to try to, you know, if we can make things better for people, you know, if that's in our heart. And so it's in my heart, so I'm gonna keep doing it. You know, I feel like it's a it's a cleansing going on in our community. Because the, the real and the fake is, is separating. And, um, you know, all the people who, who diss what I was doing, you know, I'm going to just watch you and see what you get out the whole deal. You talking about I was worried about getting some, like, taxes or some shit. Yeah, right. Anybody that would go through all this for some fucking taxes is an idiot. But at the end of the day... We'll watch you and see what you get. And then we'll watch the people and see what they get. And um, that's what I've been doing. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. Um, if you don't see me doing doing nothing, you'll hear about it. And um, that's it. That's how it was. That's how it is. That's how it shall be. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this is for the Kenny movie. K-A-N-E-H. Debo says y'all better support our veterans on 4 2019. That Kenny movie, K A N E H movie, premieres in Beverly Hills. And it's a fundraiser to help our patients get verified status, California Department of Health Medical Marijuana IDs. What you got on my 40? Don't make me come snatch your chain. Check out the K. A N E H B I P. This is Debo. I still got the bicycle. Don't make me get it out. Sleep with your lights on. Support our veterans. Hey, this is Tyne Lister, Debo. Y'all run with my man Sunset Black at rapboogieman.com.